can see it's being demolished. Live on stage at the Hacienda in Manchester, New Order! <laughs> The band and other owners calculated that they lost £10 for everyone who attended, but for band members such as Peter Hook, it was a home from home. Today, he finds the place a wreck. His stage is being sold off as a souvenir. The thing is, is that, to my mind, when this closed, Manchester lost a bit of its specialness. And if you look round now, it's not as good as it used to be. And that's my little thought, anyway. Famous at first for showing off art to a largely empty dance floor, its fortunes eventually changed. Out of it grew bands such as the Happy Mondays. It championed house music, a new form of dance music from clubs in Chicago and Detroit. The DJ's booth is now being auctioned off, a symbol of the birth of what became Acid House and the rave generation. In 1988 and the end of the 80s, the Hacienda was the only big place in the whole of Britain where you could hear house music. And house music now is, is huge and it's global and it's, it's pop music. And that whole change and that whole cultural revolution happened here. But there was a dark side. Claire Layton was the first person in Britain to die from taking the drug ecstasy after a night at the club. The drug gangs were notorious. People may be preparing to bid for their own bits of pop history, but one of its prime movers doesn't regret its passing. It's rock and roll, it's ephemera, and it's great just for that. So pull it down. No, 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 no. It'll always be remembered. It'll always be remembered. I hope. Today, even the stage is being sawn up as the place is turned into loft apartments. An outlandish idea 15 years ago. Now people want to live in a revived, lively city. And it's a process that began with the building of the Hacienda. David Solito, BBC News, Manchester.